Today we're going to break down a sweep from Gustavo Batista. So I've noticed that he's been playing a lot of the 50-50 guard with the lapel control and this sweep that he hits right here against Felipe Pena is actually from the finals of the 2019 IBJJF World Championships. But it's not the first time that I've noticed him doing it. So for Gustavo, he's kind of, he's got this very interesting game where everything looks so smooth and effortless. And I remembered that back in 2018 at the Abu Dhabi World Pro, he hit the same sweep against Patrick Gaudio. Everybody knows that Gaudio is this really physically imposing guy. And this sweep is so eye-catching that when I saw him do it again, twice in one match against Felipe Pena, I knew that I had to break it down. So. Let's take a little look about the, the key points to exactly what it is that makes this technique work. So let's go back to the 2019 World Championships final and we'll take a look at exactly what Batista is doing right here. Now you can't see much in this position. This is the very start of the technique. There's a lot of details here, but maybe they're a little bit hidden away, okay? But as we roll the tape, you'll be able to see some of the control positions that he's using. Now the two things we gotta highlight, of course, are the grip on the pants right here, and this grip on lapel. Now, why is the lapel so important? Why does he want that control? Isn't it enough just to control the leg? No, it's not. So two reasons. Number one, that lapel control all the way from the back of the neck, right down to the grip behind the knee. It's like a dead weight hanging on the back of Felipe Pena's neck. And it, it makes it very difficult for him to posture up and to stand up and of course, if Felipe wants to escape from this, if he wants to get his leg out, he wants to bring this right leg, he wants to bring it back and up and over across to the other side of the body. Can't do that with the lapel. It's shutting the door. He simply can't kick his leg back around to the other side. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. So Felipe Pena, Unfortunately, he's kind of two steps behind here. Batista is really the one in control here. What's he doing? He's got control of the grips, as we've noticed, but this leg, the left leg, he's already looking to put the foot on the inside of the thigh because he wants to knock that leg out and away and he wants to drop Flippy down to his butt and then complete the sweep. Let's roll it on a little bit. Now this is a key detail that maybe not a lot of people might notice, but right here, Gustavo, he's actually twisted his own leg inside the 50-50. So now, excuse me, now this knee is actually bent and it's dropped inside. Whereas before his leg was straight or even bent like this, he's actually changed the angle so that now, his knee is dropping down towards the mat. And all during this, of course, while that, that's going on, Flippy Pena, he's battling away and trying to take that foot from the inside of his thigh. So, let's play on. You can see now, the foot on the inside of the thigh, he's kind of ready to kick it, right? But you see, he's still controlling the leg. But watch what happens when Batista lets go. There you go. So, right here, you can see that the foot on the back of the thigh, crucial in knocking away Filippi's base. His foot is actually off the floor right now. But it's that leg, it's the, the leg inside the 50-50 that's doing all the work. It's actually chopping down. So while the, the leg kicking away the base is important, the twisting motion, like a scissor in motion, and the downward pressure of the knee and the shin on top of Felipe Pena's thigh, is actually what's gonna take him down rather than just stretch him out. And as you roll the tape now, you'll see, boom, there he goes. Crowd go wild, two points on the board, fantastic. So exactly the same sweep now later on in the match, on the other side. And it's kind of rare to see this as well because usually most guys, they have a preferred side for certain techniques. Uh, a, a lot of guys, they'll, they'll have one guard pass for the left side of the body and they'll have a completely different guard pass for the other side. Well, Gustavo just shows to his versatility that he actually uses the exact same technique on both the left and right. Is he ambidextrous? Don't know. But it's really impressive that he could do exactly the same technique on both sides. So, 
the initial stage of this little clip right here, it allows us to see how Batista sets the lapel grip. Let's play that on. So you can see now that he kind of pulls it down, pulls it down, feeds it through, boom. Gets the grip with the hand. So his hand, his left hand is going, or his left arm is going around the leg on the inside and coming up underneath the thigh to control that lapel. And as we mentioned before, that lapel, now a straight line from the back of Felipe's neck all the way down to Batista's hands. Let's roll it on. Okay, exact same sequence. What's happening is Batista's leg, you can't really see because of the angle, but his right foot is searching for that thigh, right? He wants to get the, the, the right foot against the thigh so that he can knock out Felipe's base. What's different in this clip compared to the first one is that Batista never had control of the pants with his right hand. So now Felipe actually thinks that he's a little uh, freer and he feels able to escape this position. Let's roll it on because I really want to highlight exactly how good Felipe Pena's defense is in this position as well. We could already see that Batista, he's setting up the chopping motion with the knee, the shin is on the thigh, the knee is dropped into the inside, okay? He wants to kick away that supporting leg. Felipe's got a pretty solid three-point base right here, right? It's like a, like a tripod. He's got that hand on the mat, and he's got the, both feet. So the only direction really for Batista to take him is this way, okay? He's got to try and chop him down, twist. But without the control of that pant leg to set the foot in the back of the thigh before he initiates that scissor motion, allows Felipe the opportunity to defend, and that's what we're gonna see here. Look how good this defense is. Batista kicks once, kicks twice. Felipe Pen is backstepping, 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 and then look at this. Incredible flexibility from Felipe Pena. He's pretty much in a split position right now. And Gustavo, he has to actually add some little details into this technique now to make the sweep work, okay? And of course, the foot Kicking away on that supporting leg, incredibly important. The knee, this is such a good angle now. You can see exactly how bent Batista's leg goes. He drops the knee right inside there on the inside of the leg. And then this his foot hooks on the top of the thigh and he uses that motion to kind of chop down on top of the thigh and knock him down to the ground. But let's play the tape because it's not just the leg that does this. He's actually stretching out as far as you can. I mean, look at that. Batista is basically lying flat right now. He's completely stretched out. Awesome flexibility from Felipe Pena. And this leg is not enough to just knock Felipe Pena's base over. So Batista adds the torso rotation. He actually goes belly down. Whereas before he was on his side and he kind of scissors his legs, chops his legs, now controlling that leg, what he does is he gets to the absolute maximum point that he can with his legs, can't get any more push on that, and just twists. Just a little twist of the upper body and then you'll see the Felipe Pena, he's got no choice, just rolls over. Another two points on the board. This match actually went to a referee's decision uh, with Batista losing in the end. But, I mean, they went one for one on sweeps like this. It was a fantastic match, and I suggest you go and take a look at it. But let's take a look at another example of how uh, Batista makes this sweep work uh, against a very physical opponent in Patrick Gaudio. Now, Gaudio is, we know he is just so freaking strong, right? This guy is really, really well known for being an absolute uh, monster. So Batista has to put a little bit more juice behind the technique to make this one work. So let's just highlight the controlled positions one more time. Lapel grip, foot on the back of the thigh, his knee already dropped inside right here. Okay, so let's play the tape. Okay, beautiful angle once again. 
of exactly how bent Batista gets his, his leg. He, he basically rotates his hips so that his hips are no longer facing up, completely on this side. His knee drops into the inside and he's got that hook on the top of the thigh. He wants to kick away the leg, he wants to chop that down, but Gaudio, as strong as he is, even the rotation of the torso is not gonna be quite enough. So Gustavo, in this case, he's actually building a base on this hand right here. Let's take a look. Okay, so gets the extension, kicks away that leg. Gaudio, again, flexible as well as strong, deadly combination. The knee ready to chop down, but we play. Now, Gustavo, yes, the torso rotates. It goes belly down. Patrick's left butt cheek hits the mat, but he's not gonna stay there. Watch what Batista has to do to finish it this time. He comes all the way up onto his hand, builds that base as high as he can, drops it down to finish the sweep in this case. Just goes to show that sometimes technique has to be backed up with a certain amount of strength to make it work. And there, just a couple of examples of Gustavo Batista hitting that sweeping com uh, in competition. The 50-50 the guard gets a lot of hate. Not a lot of people enjoy it. They, they consider it to be a, a kind of a, um, a bit of a stalling position. Uh, Batista, he's actually one of the best in the world at playing from that position. And he's got so many details uh, and, and so much going on in that position. It's not simply a case of seesawing back and forth to get points. But you look at him using those control points to score sweeps against world-class guys like Felipe Pena and Patrick Gomez. Audio, well, you know it's worth something, right? So take a look, try it out, see how you get on.